Hello and welcome to Nick Taylor Plumbing Limited. Uh, today we're going to show you how to uh, change and put a radiator on the wall. We've got a combination, a pressurised combination uh, boiler system. So uh, the first thing we do is get everything ready, uh, get our tools out, uh, and once we've done that we then turn the boiler off. Uh, it's good practice to turn the boiler off. Then we get our trusty hose just here. Uh, we find a drain off valve in the, in the downstairs radiators, connect our hose up and open up. So let's go and take a look at how we do that. Okay, so here we have the boiler. Uh, we're going to turn that off before we drain down, which is a switch is just here. And this is called the filling loop, which we'll come on to a bit later on when we fill the system. So now we've located a drain off valve uh, at the, the, down, the ground floor, the lowest point. Uh, so we've connected our hose up. We've put a little tub underneath with a bit of blue roll just to mop up any uh, any bits of water. Sometimes this seal here isn't the isn't the tightest, and a little bit of water can seep out. It's rare, but it's always best to prepare. So you put your your spanner on the end there, and simply open them up. Although he's very stiff, give him a little wiggle. There we go. Just slacking off. And there you go. Open that right up. Make sure he's on. A little dribble of water there. But that's okay. And then that's going directly out nicely to the drain outside. Now we've done that, we're just going to give it a minute to, to get any excess water out. And then we're going to go upstairs. Open the drain, uh, the bleed valves on all the radiators, uh, any radiator above this point. So we're upstairs now, and uh, the radiator just here, we've got our key, bleed key, and the valve there. So we just open that up, and you'll hear it suck in air. If any water comes out, uh, it means it's, it's, we haven't got the water out, the hose hasn't got enough water out yet. Um, so we should hear sucking, and uh, that means that's a good sign. So here it goes. Now we've opened up all the bleed valves upstairs, um, all that water is coming down, gradually filtering down through the radiators and out of this hose here. Uh, it's really important to keep your eye on this just in case, you know, it could even pop off and you, you, you don't want that. So it's always good to keep half an eye on it. As you see, we're all nice and dry, it's not leaky, so, so that's good. Uh, as we're working on a downstairs radiator, uh, we now go down the whole of the downstairs and uh, drain off uh, any excess water from the downstairs. Um, and then we should be very nearly there to start altering the pipe working, hanging our new radiator. So this particular system, they, uh, we put the drain hose on the one drain off valve um, on the one half of the house. Uh, because the, this, uh, the system tees off upstairs and then separates, so you've got the, where all the water is, it comes down and then tees off two ways to go downstairs we've got one half of that is uh, we've drained off but now we've got this half which uh, you know it can catch you out so you do have to be careful with that so I've gone to another radiator on this half of the house I put the drain off uh, my hose on the drain off uh, and we're draining the rest of the water out now um, and then once we're happy with all the water's out, we can then cut the pipe work and make adjustments as we wish. Um, but I'll show you a little picture which helps explain it a little bit better now. Okay, so this is a simple explanation of what we've just, uh, what we've just discovered. Uh, I've only drawn one pipe, so I haven't drawn the flow and returns, just to keep it simple really. Okay, so uh, we've got upstairs, we've got downstairs. Um, we're working, say we're working on this radiator here. Um, but we've put our drain off on here, so we put that hose outside. So we, we've put a hose on, we've opened the drain off, we've let the water out, uh, we've opened the bleed off valves upstairs. Now what's happened, that water is slowly draining down, down here, and it's going out. So we know all this water has come across here and out this hose. However, we wanna work on this side of the house. Now, the water is still going to be in this pipework all the way down to here. And the problem which could arise if you have another rad on, say, you could have quite a lot of water in all this pipework. So if you come along thinking, right, I've put my drain off on over, over here, I've drained down, there's no more water coming out the end of the hose, I'm going to cut this pipework here or here. 
you know, you're going to get a little bit wet. So what we've done is I've found the next drain off, which is on this side of the pipe work. So it's just here. I put my hose on, took that outside. So now I know that all this water is now out of these rads. I've opened these bleed off valves as well to let the air, you know, let the air suck in and displace the water outside. So that is a very simple explanation of what we've just done and what we've just come up against. Okay, so now we've uh, piped up the radiator, it's hung, uh, we've adjusted all the copper work to the valve, so uh, we're happy with that. We're then uh, into uh, filling up the system. So in order to do that, we then come back to our drain after we tighten, make sure that's, uh, yeah, make sure that's nice and tight. And then you go around every single radiator in the house that you've opened and double check them. Once you've tightened up the drain off, so you then go to the bleed nipples and you tighten all those up. Make sure you do it in every radiator in the house and uh, yeah, just double check that they're nice, they're nice and shut. Okay, so now we're looking to refill the system. Uh, we've double checked that we've turned all the bleed off valves off and we've closed the drain off valves. So there's no way that that water can escape when we refill. Um, so we mentioned earlier about the filling loop. Uh, basically in a nutshell, this is your cold main pipe um, and then it's linked to your central heating pipes. And you quite simply just open these valves and in a moment you'll hear it filling up. So now, now that's filling up, uh, you'll notice this gauge here, um, it obviously it's on zero, but the more uh, water goes into your system, that will then start to lift up. You want to get it to around about half a bar to start with, just to and turn the water off, just to check you go around the house, check there's no leaks, and then you come back and keep topping it up till it gets to around about two bars. Once it's at two bars, you turn it off, uh, you, you turn off the fill, fill, fill loop here, fill loop, uh, and then you bleed the air out of all the radiators. Once the air's out the radiators, you'll need to come up, top it up again, and keep doing that until your pressure gauge um, is at about one, 1 1.2 bars of pressure. So there you have it. So now I've repressurized the boiler. I've got all the air out of all the radiators from the uh, drain off, the, sorry, the bleed off valves. Um, I've checked all the connections that I've made and they're all watertight, which is excellent. So now I'm going to turn the boiler back on and turn the heating on. Uh, by the time I've loaded the van with all my tools, uh, the radiators will start to get hot. So I'll just go around, check this heat in all of them. And uh, that's how you uh, drain down and fill back up uh, a combination boiler central heating system. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.